the summer of 1997, reports were coming out of Hollywood that a little-known film called Titanic was about to be the biggest financial disaster in the history of movies. But that is until James Cameron proved that after 15 years, 11 Oscars, and $1.8 billion, that real men make their own luck. Hi, I'm Jake Hamilton here on the red carpet world premiere in London, England of Titanic, the re-release in 3D, getting ready to talk with the king of the world himself, James Cameron, and star Kate Winslet about why they're taking this voyage once again. Get ready, this is Jake's Takes. Hello, hi. 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 How beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, she's no, not with me. Oh my gosh, she looks like you. I know. Oh, anyway, Rob. Okay, Hi. we'll talk and we'll. Yeah, okay. We'll talk. You do your interview and I'll, I'll do mine. Okay, good we'll luck. Switch. All right, baby. I wasn't going to interrupt that. Okay, sorry, Anne. Oh, no, we're absolutely. rolling. And we're rolling. Go. Leonardo has a great line in the movie where he says he needs to make um, each day count. As an actress, as a mother, as just a person, what do you do to make each day count? <laughs> That's such a funny question. Um, you know, just just live. You just just live it. You, know, you get one life. This is it. This is this is it. You know and. Um, just try and stay positive, you know, and uh, and just make the most of every day. Absolutely. How do you prepare to walk through those doors and see this for the first time completely in 3D? Make sure you peed, make sure you've had a good stiff drink, make sure you've had someone lovely do your hair and makeup, and um, hope for the best. Titanic was called the ship of dreams, and it was, it really was.